What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Rusty and we are back truck driving with this 2020 Freightliner or Freightliner, whatever you guys call it. I call it a Freightliner, but I guess I'm saying it wrong. It's Freightliner. I think I got it right. But yeah, it's a 2020. This thing is a beast. I love it. I don't know if I love it better than a new Volvo because I haven't drove in a new Volvo yet. But in this episode, Life on the Road episode, I guess that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to name uh, these trips that I take and record Life on the Road. Uh, if you guys want to check all of them out, I mean, it's just like pretty much me truck driving, showing you guys around the country, coast to coast, and uh, the troubles that I go through. And on my last video, I did uh, this woman hydroplaned actually right in front of me. It was scary, scary stuff. Uh, I already did the intro, like the, showing you guys around the truck inside. I'm not going to do that this time. It's up to you guys. So I am in California, in Los Angeles, California, and I'm actually loading up full truckload of, I think it's like uh, drinks and food or something like that. Maybe Mexican drinks and food. I'm not really sure. They look like they're foreign drinks and I'm taking it straight to Hendersonville, North Carolina. It's right beside Asheville, North Carolina, and it's gonna take me a couple days to get there. So we'll see how this trip goes. Good thing I don't have to stop and go, stop and go, because these dry vans, sometimes you have to take multiple loads and drop off multiple loads, but it's one pick, one drop. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's get to it. It's actually not full soda. It's just bottles. It's plastic bottles uh, and it's a full truckload. It's only 12,000 pounds and it's one pickup in California and one drop off in uh, North Carolina. That's awesome. This is the easiest load I have ever had. And this was actually my first time going through I-40 over here by myself. I've been through it with a team driver, but not by myself. So we'll see how this goes. California is not all bad it's very pretty I mean I'm on I-40 right now probably another 120 miles or so before we hit Arizona I mean I got nothing bad to say about the actual weather here the environment how beautiful it is the only thing I hate about it yeah there's like there's like 90% stuff I hate about it and then 10% I love is the weather and the environment the other 90% that I do not like is all the gays and earthquakes and a 55 speed limit for trucking and they charge for plastic bags they charge for straws i went into a freaking chick-fil-a they didn't want to give me a straw like i almost smacked her you know i was like give me a freaking straw you know it's ridiculous like i don't understand what the big deal is with straws and plastic bags here but just stop you know just stop uh but yeah other than that i, I love california it looks really nice but that's all. So I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm gonna tell dispatch not to send me here again. Way too much of a headache. You're driving way too slow, making very less money than you should. I can be going 80 right now in Texas, you know? everybody so doing my pre-trip right now I got another 11 minutes left on pre-trip and I'm doing a region I don't know if you guys know what that is on all these newer trucks um, pretty much you go into the menu and you click uh, park region active uh, activate so I activated it there's a little yellow light right here that turns on that says region needs to start pretty much it raises the idle and it blows through the filter and it cleans it up and stuff like that. So yeah, this is uh, sometimes happens because uh, if you're parked for more than six, eight, 10 hours, and I've been parked for 10 hours, woke up and this light turned on, and sometimes when it's parked, 
for a really long time in the region you do not do a region a check engine light comes on and this comes on and I think a motor does a safety shut off and then a motor shuts off because you're not the region is too clogged or whatever uh, yeah but I'm doing the region right now I'm about to finish my uh, pre-trip and we'll be heading back out we are already in Arizona we already passed California thank God and let's head out I just passed area 66 in Arizona that's uh, pretty much if anybody doesn't know that's pretty much a place where everybody thinks aliens land for some reason I don't know but there was like a big tablet there that said area 66 and it said like something something aliens or UFOs I don't know that was weird there's some crazies living up in here what the heck looks like a truck caught fire a trailer or something caught fire damn a whole semi truck trailer yeah it's crazy Just have a question for all you CCW holders and that are truck drivers. Uh, I'm wondering, do you carry when you're in a commercial vehicle or not? Because, I don't know, I read online and there's, I mean, there's really no saying. It's like a gray area or something like that. People say you, if you have a CCW, you can carry on a commercial vehicle. Some say no, some say yes, some say it depends on the company. But I know that when you pull up to a port, you're not supposed to have any weapons on you. But if you don't ever go to ports, can you actually technically carry? I don't know. Let me know in the comments, because I have no clue. So I keep passing by uh, something that says Route 66. I don't get it. Is this an old Route 66 or something? I-40? You know, because it goes coast to coast, but I'm just wondering. I keep seeing Route 66, Route 66. I don't know. I guess this is uh, old Route 66. It says historic route. I don't know. But I like I like this highway. I-40, first time on it, coast to coast. and. Um, I like it. It's smooth. It's always 75 and plus. I like it. Huge lines at the pumps right now at Love's in Albuquerque. Almost in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Oh my gosh, just huge traffic right there on the left side and I just witnessed it. It was so sad. I don't know if I even should tell you guys. Uh, pretty much looks like a car hit another car and that one car there's clothes all over the ground and then there was like two bodies it was uh, it looks like an adult and two small bodies laying on the ground and they covered them up with clothes man that was so sad oh my goodness guys i don't know how much times i have to tell you the road is such a dangerous place in just the past uh i don't even know a couple days i've witnessed somebody hydroplaning in front of me two burnt trucks on the side of the road cleanup crews and all that man and uh the, this accident right here that's crazy I mean like so much people die on the roads people don't even know you know they're like oh you know it's the cars is five-star rating safety blah 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 but I mean yeah but you go fast enough you're gonna die you know you're just gonna boom and that's it it's crazy man the road is such a dangerous place man it's super windy right now and when you're in a dry van and you're not really that heavy I'm only 12,000 pounds it gets kind of sketchy after about 35 mile per hour winds you have to stop or you're going down so unless you're a heavy load then you can keep going but man i've seen so much bad videos about people just laying their trucks down because of wind 
I have a storm radar right here. And when it's really windy or thunderstorming, it tells me where I am and uh, what miles per hour the wind is at where I am at. So it's pretty helpful. Right after it gets starting to get crazy, before it gets crazy, I'll just pull over for 20, 30 minutes just in case. I don't really care, you know, like about making my route or making the delivery. It's about the safety, you know. If the storm's common, it's more than 35, 40, 40 mile per hour winds, I'm stopping, I don't care. I was gonna show you guys what I got in here. Oop, uh-oh, uh-oh. Got some bottles that fell out. I don't know what these, it's just like plastic bottles, like wrapped in this. Ooh, I'm gonna fix that real quick. Yeah, but that's it. It's a very, very light load. Oklahoma City, what's up? First time here. It's not bad, not bad roads. I mean, the, the city itself looks uh, kind of small, but I mean, it's pretty big. It has like a four lane highway, nice sculptures. It looks like new bridges. I mean, this place looks nice. I've never been here before. I thought Oklahoma was a bunch of hicks and stuff, but it's not, it's a nice place. Okay, state. It seems kind of boring. The roads suck, though. You can always tell by how the state economy is, I guess, by the roads. Man, they suck. It's like Spartanburg all over again. South Carolina has crappy ass roads. So does this place. But it ain't bad. The people seem nice and stuff. And I'm about to go to Love's Park real quick and go take a dump, and we'll be heading back out. Memphis. This is. Oh, this guy, what the heck? Oh man, guess what? This guy passed me going like 65, 70 in a rain. And I guess now he flew off the road. Well, that was about two hours ago, so that's what you get, buddy, sorry. Memphis, Tennessee. I have never been here before, but I don't know if you guys can see this to the left. They got a freaking pyramid over here. What the heck? I'm guessing this is downtown. Ooh, it looks kind of crappy. But they got a pyramid, dude. What? Why do they have a pyramid? Another scale. Let's go already, man. Man, I've never got inspected before. Hopefully they don't. Cool. Exit to I-40. We all good. We all Gucci. Let go. I need, I need one of these wife beater sticks for, you know, inspections and stuff. So 20 bucks, 10 bucks. I want this big one. The company will pay for it anyways. Yeah, let's get this one. Uh, um, morning. Um, so yeah, this is it. Last, last uh, day and I'm always there in uh, Hendersonville dropping off this load. I'm gonna do my PTI real quick. I'm gonna try out this beater stick, pretty much. Yeah, that's all you do. Make sure all the tires are pumped up with this thing. You just feel it, you know? All right, that was good enough. I'm done with my PTI, let's go. This I-40, I, I remember being on this I-40, this part in a regular car. In a regular car, it's still dangerous, but in a semi, I know that uh, a lot of Slavic uh, friends of ours in Asheville and actually in Jacksonville have passed away on this highway, on this stretch of highway right here where North Carolina and Tennessee meet. It's very, very dangerous. I remember that part. Uh, this guy actually uh, two years ago passed away right here somewhere. 
in a semi truck. Uh, I'm guessing a uh, rollover. I mean, it's sad. This this is very very sketchy, especially when it's foggy early in the morning and it's raining. You go about 50, 55. You know, it's too fast. Way way too fast. Very dangerous. It's beautiful though. I used to live in Asheville, North Carolina. That's actually where I grew up. I know it's a beautiful place, but I'll just go 50 because it's just not worth it, you know. And when it's raining and it's foggy, I mean, I go about 45, no more, and maybe even less with my hazards on. It's just so sketchy here. All right, we are unloading and that's it for us. We are in Asheville, North Carolina. When we're done unloading, we're gonna go chill with some family. I actually used to live up here, so we got pretty good friends and relatives over here. So I'm gonna go chill for a reset, do my reset, and then head back out on the road because I'll be on the road for another couple weeks trying to get that money, you know what I'm saying? So appreciate it guys for watching. Stick tuned for more videos. Deuces. Stack and see you flexing with the thin stack